Hi y'all, uh, my name is Veronica Pashkovich, and in this video I'll be talking about the Crunchy Littles um, soap bar. And I was going to do this video actually bathing my child and talking about the soap and its uses and things like that. But when I first started filming the video while bathing my daughter, she was like screaming, crying, so I wasn't sure why. I don't know if it was because we're traveling and she's not in her bathtub or I don't know what it was, but she generally really enjoys her bath time. So I'm not sure what was going on there. Um, so this is why I'm just sitting in, in the bathroom um, on the shower bathtub thing um, and making this video for you guys. Um, so I do apologize that I couldn't you know, physically show you and stuff like that. So I'm going to start with um, why I decided to use this soap. So I have a daughter, she's right now eight months old at the time of this video. And she, she would, she used to get like really bad, like, you know, rashes. It was just like, um, her doctor called it like a, just a dry rash, dry skin rash which was weird. Um, it wasn't like allergies or anything like that. It was just like dry skin. Um, but then I learned that I feel like I feel, I feel, I feel like it was more like of an irritation, um, than dry skin rash. But anyways, so when her doctor asked me, you know, what soap do you use? I would told my doctor, you know, we use Cetaphil, Aquaphor, um, Johnson and Johnson and then she told me do not use Johnson and Johnson stay away from Johnson and Johnson and I said well why and she said well because Johnson and Johnson they have um, cancer causing ingredients red flag so when I came home um, and all she did say that Cetaphil Aquaphor are good I'm like okay that's fine so when I came home and I got rid of all the anything that said Johnson and Johnson um, so then I continued using the Cetaphil and it was like strange. It was like really weird. Like her, uh, rash, rashes were like inconsistent. Like I would give her back of the Cetaphil and it seemed like, sometimes it seemed like her rashes were fine. And then sometimes I feel like it got irritated even more using the Cetaphil. So I would go on the Think Dirty app and the Think Dirty app actually rates Cetaphil as dirty. So, guess what? I threw that out. Um, and I believe even, I'm not sure about the Aquaphor, but I do want to say the Aquaphor also was rated um, dirty. So I threw it out. So basically everything I had, I threw it out. Um, and then Crunchy, uh we were as an advocate we were able to pre-order the crunchy little soap um i don't have the big bar with me i brought little sample sizes with me right now because we're traveling so i left the big bar at home but i will shoot a little screen um a screenshot of what the actual big bar looks like right over here somewhere um a couple things i do want to say when i first tried it my first impression it was very good I was very happy that it is, it's, it's lathery. It has that, the perfect, like, soapy consistency. It's not super thick and lathery, and it's not like, you know, you gotta, like, rub it a bajillion times for it to give you some lather. The aroma is very gentle and subtle. It's not, like, overpowering at all. It has a very soft, gentle aroma, so I'm very happy with that. It is very, very soothing. The ingredients, I will have a screenshot here um, of what the ingredients are for that. Um, because of its soothing properties and because it is a soothing soap, it, it may help, like if you know anyone who has eczema, if you have eczema, your child has eczema, you know, I would definitely turn to this soap and and try this soap on, on that as well. When I started using this on my daughter with her rash that she was having, I noticed that it actually um, 
is, is helping soothe her rash. So now she doesn't have as bad of rashes. And I've used this soap on her only twice so far. So I'm very happy with this. So definitely try it if, you're, if you or your child have eczema. I do want to say a disclaimer, however, I'm not a medical professional. I'm not, you know, by no means am I like trying to diagnose or treat or anything, no. Um, I do want to say that it is soothing, it helped my child, and I'm passing it on to you so it can help you and your family, and you will be very, very glad that you tried this. Um, also, I use this on myself. Um, we we're traveling, like I said, so I forgot my soap at home. So, like, I mean, why not? I'll try it. So I tried it, and also, I tried this with shaving too and let me tell you i'm just gonna use this i really am um i am very prone to like breakouts especially after i shave um i change my razors all the time or frequently you know i use lotion i you know i became very conscious of like the stuff i'm using on my body um and like still i had like these breakouts so I just changed this and I haven't really had um, a breakout. I use this with shaving and as a body, body wash. Beautiful. I even barely needed lotion after the shower. So it's like you would think as like a bar soap, you would be like, oh, you're going you're gonna to feel like really super tight and, and like that squeaky clean. But you feel clean, but you don't feel... Like you're that like squeaky, tight, clean feel. You know what I'm saying? Or like tight, dry. Um, so I didn't feel the need to use as much lotion as I generally use after the shower. Um, so this is an amazing product. Um, you, you have to. You you just th this. You just need this. You need this for you, for your child, for your whole family. You really do need this. Um, and I will have um, a few screenshots here of our badges. That we're cruelty free. We're vegan. We're vegetarian. We're leaping bunny certified. Um, we are non-GMO. We're gluten free. Um, so I'll have all that information right here. So please, 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 please get yourself this. You will be glad you did.